Chronic low-level infections can lead to systemic inflammation in the body and even impact the auditory system. These chronic infections can be things like bacteria, bacteria, viruses, parasites, Epstein-Barr, fungal infections, you name it. Now, one of the best ways to uncover whether or not you have an underlying infection or pathogen that is, you know, wrecking havoc within your body is to look at your blood tests. And hopefully your doctor has run one that has what's called the CBC or complete blood count with differential. In this blood test, you will see various markers. So the first one is usually neutrophils. And neutrophils is a bacterial marker. Uh, And if it's above 60%, you are dealing with a bacterial infection. Lymphocytes is the next one, and this number should be around 30%. However, if your numbers are greater than 30%, you are dealing with a viral, increased viral load. Now, neutrophils and lymphocytes generally should be on a two to one ratio. So the neutrophils are 60 and the lymphocytes are 30. So that's a two to one ratio. If they get close to a one to one ratio, that is a good indication that you're struggling with an underlying autoimmune condition. Now, it doesn't matter what the autoimmune condition is. It just means that your body is really fighting two different types of things and you likely also have leaky gut. The next marker that we want to look at is monocytes. And monocytes are another viral marker. Uh, And you might be familiar with the term mono um, or Epstein-Barr. So this is a great kind of piece of where that virus fits in. This number we want to be below 7%. If your monocyte number is elevated above 7%, you also are probably struggling with an elevated viral load. Next is your eosinophils and your basophils. These two markers really give me a great, or you, a great idea to understand whether or not you have underlying food sensitivities or extreme excess of parasites. Now, this these markers aren't definitive for parasites. We all have parasites, but if the number's quite elevated, it's, it's a good idea to get a check or to do a parasite cleanse. Now, when we look at eosinophils and basophils, we're looking at food sensitivities and parasitic infections. If the number is above 2%, that's when I begin to become a little concerned about what's going on there. The first thing I tend to ask is, have you tried eliminating any offending food in your diet? If you haven't, that's going to be the first place that I start. If you've tried an elimination diet and you're still struggling, then I would recommend looking at a parasite cleanse. If you do have the other viral and bacterial markers, there are great natural options that can help to bring it in balance without disrupting your gut like a antibiotic would. Now, I caution you from going to your physician and saying that I've got an elevated bacterial number. Remember, your doctor is looking at things from a state of pathology, not imbalance. So if it's not high enough that it is making your body sick and dysfunctional outwardly, then your doctor is just going to look at you like you're crazy. But again, these can be low level stressors that are impacting the overall wellness of your body and creating additional mitochondrial dysfunction and oxidative stress.